Well, only a few days left for the school holidays, which means you are probably running out of ideas for keeping the kids occupied. So how about getting them into the kitchen? It's a double whammy, keeps them busy, and you might even get a bit of help at the same time. So to Julie Busso's kitchen we go. Julie's helping hand this morning her daughter, Ilaria. Good morning to you. Good Ilaria, morning. we're very thrilled to have you on the program this morning. Last week, Julie brought in a mean apple turnover, and I understand you invented that recipe. Yes, I did. <laughs> so you are clearly as talented as your mother. Very much. Are you sure? <laughs> okay. So what have we got this morning? What have you got for us? Well, a really, really simple recipe, and it is delicious. It's a rice pudding, and why I think it's good for children to make is because it only has four ingredients. So it's a kind of thing that they can do a little bit of weighing and measuring. They can assemble it, and of course, uh, that's really easy to do, and then they're going to love the taste of it. So should we start? Yeah. Yeah, well, what do we do first? Half a cup of rice. Medium yep. grain. Yep. Two tablespoons of caster sugar. Yep. You need to get that sugar in there because it gives it that lovely sweet mm -hmm. flavour. And three cups of milk. And what sort of milk do we need, Ilaria? We need whole milk because it, when you eat it, it's got a much creamier taste. Mm. <laughs> That's what we like. And the last ingredient, and this is the, the, the magic ingredient, is some vanilla seeds. And I've actually got a vanilla pod and you just split that open with a little knife and flick the seeds out. Where do you get those from, Julie? Oh, specialist food shops. So they're easily uh, to find, actually. But it's such a difference in the... Well, first of all, you'll smell it when it cooks. You get this wonderful kind of fragrance coming up from mm. it. And then the taste is so much better, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, we really like that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, <laughs> how was that? It was just the, the rice, the sugar, the milk and the vanilla. And that's the, the pudding made. And then it goes into the oven. And I've got one, of course. We have to say this wonderful line, <laughs> don't we? <laughs> we just happen to have one already made. <laughs> OK, do you want to put that away for me? And I'll bring up yeah. the cooked one. Ilaria, while I've got you there, you're more than just a cook, I hear. Pianist, a singer, and a green belt in martial arts. Yeah, well, I'm a yellow belt, but I graded for my green belt, and I think I did get it. Excellent. Mm. Extremely talented individual. So did you make this one, Ilaria, that we're having a look at here? <laughs> tell tell lies. It's only television. Yes, I did. <laughs> well done. <laughs> so you see that lovely kind of crust, it all puffs up, and, I mean, you get this kind of amazing skin which I guess is my favorite yeah your favorite <laughs> bit um, and the thing is that when you actually take it out of the oven it'll probably we we'll just have a look actually it'll probably still be uh, quite runny underneath there and that's how it should be there should be still quite a lot of creaminess there uh, if you over overcook it then it of course as it settles it becomes quite firm and dry so don't be tempted to put more than half a cup of rice in there it seems very little to the amount of milk because you've got three cups of milk but you need it and you get this wonderful kind of creaminess and we love it hot or cold any time <laughs> breakfast it's a great <laughs> breakfast favorite so i reckon that's a pretty simple recipe for for children to do excellent you're a mean team larry just before we go when did your mum start you cooking three four um I don't know. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> from from the very beginning, yeah. she, she does she does her own little cookery demonstrations. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> excellent, Ilaria and Julie Busso. Thank you very much for joining okay. us this morning. Thanks. See you later. Thank you.